Hey guys, leaving the studio, just taught in power. Um, super fun class, so if you haven't tried it, you totally should. Um, but I honestly keep getting all of these questions and talks about a recession, and I just wanted to chat about that really quick. I know a lot of people are slightly freaked out about it right now because there's a lot of rumors in the news, but here's the thing. There are so many factors that go into a home downturn or a recession and A, yes, interest rates are really low, which I always think at the end of the day, of course you live in your payment, not in your price, right? So if you can get the um, a better home because you can afford a payment that's more manageable right now than when the payment will be higher because there's a higher interest rate, that's always a plus. But obviously that doesn't necessarily mean that you wanna go make a bad investment and then not be able to um, get equity out of your home when you go to sell, you know, you don't wanna lose your bet, basically. Um, so I know that's what a lot of people are toying with. Um, however, there's a lot of real money in the market right now, not just loans. People have a lot of liquid funds. Um, businesses are doing well. People are making good money. People are traveling. They're spending good money in our economy. Um, and to me, that means that they are not spending beyond their means, right? They're not relying solely on that loan, um, which I think was a huge factor in our previous downturn. Also, supply and demand. Um, let's talk about that for a hot second. So what I typically see in the market for a healthy market of Arizona homes that are single family detached for sale, I typically see somewhere in the like 27, 28,000 homes, um, somewhere around there, let's even say conservative and go 25,000, right? Well, right now we're looking at closer to 13,000 single family homes in the Maricopa County area. So that's so low. And obviously a lot of that has to do with the fact that, um, you know, Airbnb and things like that came into the market since the recession. And a lot of people that had, um, money to spend went really went in and took advantage of those investment properties and they're still doing it they're still making good money so that took a lot of homes off the market um, and also builders put a halt on building for a long time they were in my opinion building scared I even think they're still um, I think they changed what they thought they needed builders were going in and buying these massive plots of land right and having these big neighborhoods and now they're trying to figure out how to be more economical I will say a lot of the times they're putting more homes um, in a smaller space, so there's more of those um, homes with like courtyards, um, less of a massive yard space because that's less responsibility on the builder, but man oh man, they are building, um, and that's truly out of a demand. There's just so many people moving here. We're the fifth largest city in the US, and we cannot keep up with it with our homes for sale right now. So again, I just don't foresee there being a chance for our home values to plummet. Um, I promise I'm not saying that because I'm a realtor. Um, I talk to my family and my loved ones the same way. Um, my parents just recently did a pretty big renovation on their home. And let me tell you, the market in their neighborhood is really great. And if I truly thought that, I mean, same with my home, I made a great investment on mine, thank goodness. But I would be running and selling mine right now if I thought there was gonna be a recession, but I guarantee you I genuinely don't. So if that's something that's holding you back right now, don't let it take advantage of those good interest rates right now. And if you have more questions, you want to pick my brain, I'm always happy to chat. So anyway, just some food for thought on this Tuesday evening. Sorry, I'm in my bar clothes, but hey, such is life when you're a pure bar owner and a real estate businesswoman. I do all the things all the time. So you get, you get all of me. <laughs> so anyway, just something I want to chat about. So hope to talk to you all soon. Let me know if you have any questions.